Good morning everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. So it is early morning, I just got the girls off to school and I ran out here into the backyard so that I could film this bed. My plan for today is to map out my light. I have my, let's see if, uh, wrong way. I have my oak tree that I share with my neighbor and this winter we had some tree pruners, tree trimmers come, and I asked them to prune my side way back so that I could get as much sunlight as possible in this little garden bed right here. I do not know what I'm gonna do with this garden bed. I'm debating, uh, you know, I, I have no idea basically, but the first step is just figuring out how much sun I actually have. So today I have set timers on my phone or alarms on my phone for every single hour to come out and document so I can see where the sun is in this bed. So you can see it is 8 a.m. right now and there is nothing, right? The sun is coming up over there, that way is east, um, and it's not even close. And I don't think it's gonna get sun until later on in the afternoon, so I'll try not to bore you guys um, <laughs> with, with hourly updates throughout the day. Um, but I just wanted to come out and show you guys that 8 a.m., there's nothing here. So the other thing that I have to think of is um, this direction is south and it is still let's see it's late March early April late it's late March right now um, and basically the Sun isn't as high in the sky as it's going to be you know as it gets into the the dog days of summer so as it gets higher I'll probably get a little bit more Sun um, since I have this um, north facing fence right here um, but I'll just kind of plan for that for this side of the garden bed right here so this is kind of what I do I did this with the cottage garden bed and I was so surprised to find that I had more than six hours of sun over in that bed because it seemed like you know it was it was like a partial shade bed but it's not it's it's technically a full sun bed a, a full sun bed is technically greater than six hours of sun so i just want to see what i'm dealing with here before i even start thinking about what plants i want to plant in this area so let me turn around and show you guys Okay, so here is the garden bed I'm talking about over there. The sun is coming up right there, so that way is east. Um, you can see I have my Wichita Blue Juniper right there. I have my Elegantissima Red Twig Dogwood, and then I have my Honeysuckle, and they're both doing well. I do have an ostrich fern right there um, that is, I don't think it's very happy. I think it gets scorched with the hot afternoon sun, so I might end up moving that depending on the results I come up with for today. Um, and then you guys can see there's the big oak tree that has finally leafed out for the spring. And um, I don't know if you guys can see the cuts, but basically last year, you guys can see my lawn. Last year, the oak tree came all the way to like halfway across the lawn. And as it grew, it grew further and further down. And it was beautiful because it was like this little, um, shady like cave or you know something like that back there it was really really pretty but i really wanted to lighten it up and to lift the canopy um and so just so that i could plant some more sunny stuff over here because it's you know it was shade but then as the sun set um in the heat of summer, it would scorch everything, like it would scorch the ostrich fern. So I would, I was planting for shade and it just, it, it didn't work out. It wasn't, um, it, just because it got that hot afternoon sun, it technically wasn't shade. So this is kind of a, um, I'm not going to say a difficult area. It's just an interesting area. Um, and I think that the best way to deal with interesting areas is to do what I'm going to do today, which is set a timer on your phone or an alarm on your phone for every hour, come out, take a picture or take a video so that you can kind of map out the sun and see where we're at. So that's what I'm going to do today. I will see you guys in an hour. All right. It is 9 a.m. And you can see the sun is just starting to peek through the oak tree. Isn't that pretty? All right, and then looking down here, the tiniest little sliver of sunlight on that chair right there, but mostly still in shade. A little bit of sun coming on the lawn over here, still all in shade. And then you can see my um, Texas privet uh, topiary is starting to get a little bit of sun, but I feel like that'll go away in a minute. All right, 10 a.m., the sun is starting to get a little bit higher in the sky and we're starting to get a little teeny bit of sun on the garden bed right there. So that's good to see. 
lots more sunlight on the lawn and then a little bit more sun on my pots over here. Look, I really have to get <laughs> going on these pots here. I have been neglecting them and I need to start fixing them up. And what I'm doing in between these hourly uh, updates is I'm deep cleaning my eight-year-old daughter's room. So I feel like I'm covered in dust and glitter. So <laughs> wish me luck on that. I'll see you guys in an hour. It's 11 o'clock and you can see I'm starting to get some sun. Okay, so I would say kind of in this area, in this area, I would start the clock on sun, counting it towards how much sun we have, you know, whether it's part sun um, or full sun. So 11 o'clock and we've got some sun right in that spot. You can see the rest of it is still in shade, shade, shade all the way down. But this little pot area I would say is in sun as well. Okay, so there's that. You can see this is in shade too, still. I should really be looking at this bed too. <laughs> Might as well. Okay, see you guys at noon. 12 o'clock. Not much change, but the sun is just about to start peeking over the top of that oak tree. So I think we're gonna start getting some change here pretty soon. Okay, so it is one o'clock and you can see we're starting to get a little bit more sun. The sun is starting to come out in full force. It's wonderful. I am all through deep cleaning my older daughter's room, but let me tell you, there's only so much sequins and glitter and little trinkets that you can go through before you start going a little crazy. So I'm going to do my younger daughter's room another day. So let me show you guys what we have going on over here. Okay, so one o'clock and I would say the bed, I would consider this dappled sun sunlight. So it is definitely not shaded, um, but it's not bright, full, blaring sun, um, you know, but there is still light kind of getting through the whole area. So you can see that honeysuckle is getting some light and the juniper is getting some light and there's some light over there. Okay, let me swing you guys around. And then over here on this side, we are still in full shade because this is a north facing fence. And I think that this, just this early in the year, the sun's just not high enough up overhead for that to get sun. My pots are still in the sun, but you guys can see right here, this little random tag I have. This is a Proven Winners Summerific uh, Hibiscus. And I put it here thinking it was full sun. So it must have been, um, when the sun was up overhead. So I don't know. I mean, obviously this is the last thing to start growing. So I'll have to wait till it starts growing to see if it's gonna get enough sun there. It it bloomed really well last year, but I might move it. I don't know. This is That's why this is interesting because you really see how much sun you're getting hour by hour um, and you can kind of track it. So if you guys are thinking about doing this, you know, mapping your sun every hour, it's super, super helpful. Okay, I'll see you at two. Two o'clock, starting to get some more sun. And over here, still shade, except for my pots, they have sun. Ugh, these guys need help. Okay, we are at three o'clock now, and you can see the garden bed is pretty much in full sun at this point. I think, I was looking back at the footage, and I think right here, I'm gonna start the clock right around 1 p.m. for starting to get sun, right in this area. So 1 p.m. on, we'll see how long it gets sun, and then I'll be able to count that many hours. So remember, full sun is greater than six hours of sun, full shade is less than four hours of sun, and then part sun, part shade is between four and six, depending on the strength of the sun. And then you guys can see over here, right by the fence, it is still in shade right up, right close to the fence, right where my hibiscus, there we go, <laughs> the hibiscus is right there. All right, I'll see you in an hour. Four o'clock, full sun, still except for by the fence. Hi everyone. Okay, it is five o'clock and you can see we have shade, which is surprising. And I was shocked to look out the window and see this. However, let me turn you around. <laughs> the sun is behind that one tree right there. Just that little spot right there. That's it. So I do know that once it gets closer to summer, the sun is a little bit more in line this way. So I am not even going to count this as shade right now um, because I know that that 
it, it doesn't, that tree doesn't shade the sun um, later on in the season when I really need to know when it is. So I'm, you know, I know that it's technically shade right now, but I don't think that that counts at all because, you know, just the tick over and it's going to be full sun still. All right, I'll be back at six. Six o'clock and we are back to full sun. Sunset tonight is around 7.30, so I think we only have one more update left. So I'll see you guys in an hour. All right, so it's about 6.45 and the sun is officially down. So I would say in this area behind me, five, maybe six hours of sun. So I would say it's probably part sun to full sun. However, because it is late afternoon sun and it's that really, really hot sun, I think I could get away with some part, some full sun plants planting in this bed. So this was really eye-opening for me, just like it was eye-opening for me when I did the cottage garden bed and I realized that I could actually plant some full sun plants in there. With this and with the oak tree cut back, I think I can actually plant some full sun plants, at least in this part right here. Once you get over to closer towards the, um, the fence, you know, I'm, I'm gonna have to wait till it gets closer to the summer so I can really see how much sun that was. So I think that this technique of coming out every hour throughout the day and taking pictures with your phone is super helpful. It's always eye-opening for me when I do it, and I would recommend that you guys do it as well. Um, you know, just so that you can kind of have an idea of what plants are good, and then if some of your plants are suffering, like my ostrich fern is suffering, it's suffering because it's getting way too much sun in this spot, even when the oak tree was was um, uh, not cut back last year. It's just too much sun for it. So I'm definitely going to move that guy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please consider subscribing and I hope you all have a chance to get out into your garden today.